Good morning. It's Thursday, September 1st, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Comfort of Being Known. In our scripture, Psalm 139. O Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my thoughts even when I'm far away. You see me when I travel and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. You know what I'm going to say even before I say it, Lord. You go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to understand. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous, how well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, O God! They cannot be numbered. I cannot even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand, and when I wake up, you are still with me. Our little Shih Tzu dog, Welly, is always underfoot. He's not intentionally trying to have a strip on him. He just wants to be near us. When I sit at my desk to study or write, there's never a question where he'll be. The veterinarian might call this little guy's attachment separation anxiety, but the fact is, we are mostly all he's got. There aren't any other furry critters in the house, and he doesn't get around too well because his back legs don't work. So Willie talks to us, a lot, (laughs) and he will not be quieted. He wants response, especially around dinner time. We're thinking there must be some comfort for him to be near his human pets. You and I are not a whole lot different from Willie. We're really limited physically, mentally, and relationally speaking. We mess up a good bit. Some of it because we just can't help ourselves, and some because we're mean. Welly is rarely mean, but if we get home after his mealtime, he's as cranky as they do get. Like Welly, we too have an owner. God is our creator, and we are so dependent on him for everything. Even the next breath you take is in his hands. The psalmist marvels at the closeness of God and the knowledge he has of the complexity with which we are put together. He made us, and it was with the simplest of his thoughts, but light years ahead of our deepest comprehension. And the comfort it brings us to know that he's there, even watching over us as we sleep, being there when we awaken, and knowing our needs before we can even think of them. It is all so very above imagination. For you today, let this thought govern your day and your dreams tonight. God introduced himself to Moses with the name of his being, I am that I am. And with that, he described what drives our faith and helps us understand the meaning of our very existence along with being able to rest in his care. The I am loved us before, now, and for all eternity. Try that on for comfort. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.